Hey guys, I've got an afternoon editorial for you. This one's a little different. This one's where a judge had a change of heart and decided to clear a man's record and just end all punishment for this guy. Now, this comes out of West Palm Beach, Florida. I want to know how you guys feel about this in the comment section below, whether you agree that this is a good judge or not. <clears throat> now, I think so. I think he's a pretty good guy for what he did. You'll find out here in a second. I will put a link to this story in the description box below where you can go down and read it for yourself. Um, it's a pretty good one. I like it. Let's jump into it. A Florida man who spent 10 days in jail after he overslept and missed jury duty had his record cleared by a judge on Monday. Palm Beach County Circuit Judge John Castronakis rescinded his contempt finding against 21-year-old DeAndre Somerville, writing that Somerville has been apologetic, totally rehabilitated, and no longer needs to be on probation, news outlets reported. Castronakis wrote, quote, I know he now understands and respects our system of justice and the critical role jurors play in that system. In conclusion, I do not want even a finding of contempt to be gleaned from a pursuit of his background or record. Somerville served his 10-day jail sentence last month. Castronakis had initially also sentenced him to 12 months of probation and ordered him to perform 50 hours of community service. On Friday, the judge reduced those terms to three months of probation and 30 hours of community service. But three days later, on Monday, Castronakis vacated the probation sentence entirely, although he maintained that Somerville had been careless to not show up for jury duty on August 21st. Somerville said he overslept and didn't call the bailiff before heading straight to his afternoon job in an after-school program at West Palm Beach City Parks Department. His absence delayed the court by 45 minutes, according to court records. Somerville, who had no previous criminal record, read a letter of apology in Castronakis' court on Friday, saying his experience in jail had left him shaken. Somerville said, quote, As a result of my irresponsible actions, my life has been forever changed. Everything I've gone through, I wouldn't wish on my worst enemy. Castronakis on Monday said he found Somerville's apology letter to be moving, sincere, and heartfelt, and thus cleared his record. So there's a good story for you right there. Uh, and there's a video it should play for you in the link below. If not, you can go to YouTube and look it up. Do some homework. But no, there, I watched the video in the link below that, that's in the description box. If you post it, click that and go to the Huffington Post. I watched the video there. Um, it's a very moving video. It's pretty cool. He's reading the apology letter and then the judge, you know, says that this is great. But the judge says to him, I want you to be governor of Florida. I want you to do anything you want to do in life. You know, something to that effect. Um, so he wants Jeb Bush out. Is Jeb Bush still the governor of Florida? Probably not. Don't I look dumb? Uh, I don't know. I'm in California. I don't know who the governor of Florida is. But if it's still Jeb Bush, maybe that's why the governor or the judge Castronakis wants this guy to run for governor of California. He says, I want you to be governor of California. Um, are you sure? He overslept. Anyway, look, I'm just having a little bit of fun with this editorial, but it's a good story. It's heartfelt. Uh, watch the video below in the description box or the link. Click that link and watch the video. It's really, really a great little story um, that really, I don't know, it, it, it uh, restores uh, our faith just a little bit in humanity. And maybe there are some really good people out there that, you know what, understand mistakes happen. People goof, people err to err as human, and people do err. And this judge understood that and said, you know what? Go be a good person because you are a good person. Pretty much that's what he said. He told him to be governor of Florida. Community Leo Watch, letting you know what's going on around your nation with everybody in law enforcement and everywhere else. Happy Friday, guys. Oh, before I close, before I close, a little update on the fire in Cala Mesa, California, the Sandalwood Fire. It burned 74 mobile homes, they said. Uh, one lady lost her life in the fire. And I read somewhere that there were two people unaccounted for. If anybody knows of this story, if you can find, were those two people accounted for? 
was that a glitch, an error in, in news reporting? What happened? I read that and I said, it said that two people are still unaccounted for. My God, I hope they, I hope that's a mistake. But the elderly lady that they were looking for, unfortunately, she lost her life um, in the fire. She ran back in, I think, to get her purse out of the garage or in the home. Uh, the home was filled with smoke, and then her phone, of course, uh, went off. It was it was fatal. So that's a little update to the Sandalwood Fire in Cala Mesa, California. Very tragic indeed. It was started because a guy's trash truck had caught fire in the back. He didn't know what to do. He pulled off on a dirt road. There is a video to that too if you want to look that up. And he dumps his burning trash onto the ground, catching all that dry grass on fire. And the mobile home park was right there. One idiot. And people say, well, but his policy was, or this was, or I don't, I don't know what to think of this, man. But a trash truck driver, his trash bin caught fire, which could happen. The sun comes through, hits some bottles, some paper ignites, whatever. And there you go. He started a fire because he dumped the burning trash onto the ground where there was dry grass. Thank you, guys. Happy, well, happy Friday as much as you can enjoy it. Enjoy the weekend. I'll be seeing you guys.